uh, yellow wire right here. That's uh, for my uh, JF gauge. Just got it hooked up. You have to uh, add it on your gauge here. I'll, I'll show you here. gotta hit it Friday night let's hit it Okay, uh, I'm getting ready to uh, install these pens that I made uh, in the uh, plug in the car for the dash. And uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, where they're going. And um, first of all, Google this and get it online. You can find it pretty easily there. And we're going to go down here. I'm going to stop along the way and show you a couple things here. Maybe it'll help you. Okay, see those uh, places right there on the back, those one and two? Um, the dash comes with that little uh, cable, and that's where you put, uh, install that cable, and your mouse will plug right into it. So it makes things easier. There's the, uh, there's the male pins. These are the female pins that you're going to order from Holly or Amazon or wherever, Jags, Summit. Okay, now we're going to go down here, show you some important stuff. Okay, main pin, um, pin out there. We need to look at that. Okay, we're going to go into this uh, configure a few times you'll get used to it that's where you uh, you know where you place the gauge on the uh, dash there something let me show you something important here it's page 13 is where that is at okay right here now see this right here hope you can see this um, this last line right here switch to 12 volt input is a 12 volt switched input to the dash an example of this would be turn signal indicators and right above it it says switch to ground input is a ground switch input to the dash okay now 
right up here, switch to ground input, okay? Now the one I've selected, you can use any of the, or you can use 11, 12, 13, it looks like, 3. But the one I'm going to uh, use right here is I'm going to use 8 and 9. Okay, it's right next to the, I've already used 7, which is pin 21. Uh, that's for my uh, fuel level. And uh, so I'm going to use pin 30 and 22. And I'm going to go out in the car here and do that now. Okay, uh, here in the car, there's a close-up of the, um, the pin, or I mean the uh, plug that's going on the back um, of your dash. Let's see if it focuses. You, can you see those numbers? Uh, 15, 1, I see 10, 18. Well, anyway... Kind of hard to see on the camera here, but uh, I'm using uh, pin 21, that white, uh, let's see, that white wire right there towards the middle, uh, and that's for my gas, or my fuel level. Uh, pin 22, that's going to be my right turn signal, and pin 30, that green wire um, in the bottom towards the middle, that's pin 30, that's going to be my right turn signal. And that's kind of the way it looks. Um, it's got that same thing. You just push that down. No, that's it. ECU and I just got it tuned, so I had all these uh, wires uh, loose here. But uh, very easy to take care of that. Check this out right here. You know how hard it is to get this these out. You know when you're uh, pulling this little. Um, bezel out or dash cluster thing. Look at this. I'm going to put them on a plug. going to make it real easy. I did it over here to it's got a it's back in there but there's a plug on it. Some holly wire right there too. And that's pretty much it. Here's my uh, bezel. So we'll go on and I'm kind of excited. Um you know, if they start working, I'm going to be real happy. So let's let's keep going. Fuel pump sounding good. Okay, there's my left turn. How about my right turn? Really happy to get them working. Wasn't as hard as I thought. There's my gas gauge. See, I put that warning in there, that yellow and that little uh, red tick there. So, now I'm going to show you um, how to add a gauge. Okay, I'm going to add, uh, see, a left turn signal on here. This is the fun part. Got your uh, mouse hooked up to the back of this with that cord that was supplied. Okay, I picked out a screen. Okay, this one right here because there's a lot of blank areas on here. And so I'm going to go over here, just tap the, uh, tap the mouse once and go to menu. I'm going to go to customize hit OK here okay and then I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to add gauge Oops. I think I did that right add gauge okay this is what I want and I said left turn right it's way down here at the bottom drag this down here left turn right here I'm gonna hit OK here if I can find my... oh here it is Ok, 
Okay. I'm going to put a uh, RPM bar. No, let's see. Let's put status LED. That's very common. And right here it is. Let's see. Click on that. Let's move it. Let's don't move it. Let's just leave it right there. I'm going to go ahead and save. Let's see if it works. There you go. And I could, of course, move that. And you could make different styles, whatever you want. Give it a try. Get your pens, the small pens, female pens. And I used, uh, well, whatever. Have a great day, and I hope that helps somebody.